Shaboomi Jones, thanks for joining in. Today we're gonna make a steak tartare with a sturgeon caviar garnish. We're gonna serve that with some pomme gaffrettes and a champagne vinegar creme fraiche. This is a dish that might look familiar to you. A few years ago I had something kind of like this at Le Bernardin and it inspired me to kind of recreate this dish we're gonna do today. I never worked there, this isn't a recipe from them. This is just, I had the dish, I liked it. It is everything that Le Bernardin is known for. Simple, sophisticated, beautiful, and modern. Pomme de fret is a fancy word. Well, it's not fancy, it just sounds fancy to us because it's French, but it's a fancy way of saying waffle chips, which everybody knows, waffle fries, waffle chips are so, so good. And obviously with caviar, steak tartare, and creme fraiche on a chip, on a waffle chip, oh, that's so good. I mean, maybe I'm a fat kid, but that kind of food is incredible for me, especially after a couple drinks. Let's say you haven't eaten the whole day and you go there and you order that dish, it's like, oh, you just crave it. So we're gonna go ahead and try to recreate that dish. Let's do it. We're going to use this special mandolin right here. It's called a crinkle cutter. That's a cute name, right? It's like Chris Kringle, the Santa Claus. We're gonna make waffle chips with this and the way, the technique to do it is you take the potato, you get a flat surface, you're gonna run it along here once and then you're gonna rotate it 90 degrees, run it again. Rotate it 90 degrees, run it again. And you're gonna have this on the thinnest setting. And so that's how we're going to get our pomme gaffrettes or AKA waffle chips. We're gonna fry them in grapeseed oil because it has a higher smoking point and it won't brown them. We, don't, we want them to be a nice golden brown but we don't want them to be like super dark brown. Potatoes have some starches and some sugars in there so that's why you wanna make sure you get a nice neutral oil that has a higher smoking point so that you can get them crispy without over browning them. We're gonna let them drain on the rack and we're gonna to toss them in the oven at like 200 degrees, something really low, just to dry them out a little bit and crisp them up, not to cook them any further. And then we're gonna season them with salt and that's it. The key to making a really good steak tartare is very simple. I mean, seasoning it well for sure, but one of the main components to doing this is cutting it by hand, mincing the meat by hand is gonna give it that amazing texture, mouth feel, and also flavor, you know, cause you're not grinding the crap out of it. It's not losing anything. You're using a sharp knife and you're gonna do a brunoise like you would do a vegetable. You're not gonna run back over it with your knife. You're just gonna cut it small little pieces the first time through. The texture is, is perfectly there. The taste, the mouth feel, everything that makes uh, tartare special is there. The whole time we're prepping this tartare, we're gonna keep it over ice. That's very important. You know, you wanna preserve everything about the meat. So be safe with what we're doing. So we're gonna cut all of our garnishes that are going to be mixed into our beef tartare. We're going to do cornichons. Cornichons are the small little French pickles, snack pickles. They're very, very cute and very delicious and they're really crispy and crunchy. So they're very popular to put in um, tartare. They're not as strong as capers. We're not gonna put any capers in this tartare because a caper is a very concentrated flavor. We're, we're gonna leave it out of this tartare. If I wasn't using sturgeon caviar as a garnish, I might add it in, but since I'm using it and I don't wanna overwhelm it, we're just gonna stick with these cornichon pickles. So we are gonna use dill because dill in small amounts is very, very subtle. First, we're gonna separate the leaves from the stem because we don't want any thick stem textures. We want just the little soft parts of the dill. Those are just gonna kinda get lost in the tartare. You're not gonna taste them texture-wise. You're just gonna get a really subtle flavor of something very herby and green, but very mild. All right, 
right, moving along. So we're gonna make this really simple sauce. I'm gonna do a little creme fraiche, some black pepper, some salt, and some champagne vinegar. Champagne vinegar is probably my favorite vinegar. White wine vinegar, red wine vinegar, all very strong vinegars. Balsamic is a very sweet vinegar. Malt vinegar is very, very hoppy and malty. And, and rice wine vinegar is very, very bland. For me, specifically, champagne vinegar is my favorite. It makes sexy pickles. It makes sexy vinaigrettes. You know, you make a salad with some goat cheese, some strawberries, you make a champagne vinaigrette, and that's strawberries and champagne on a plate, right? You can keep that in the idea bank for Valentine's Day, for your boo. We're not gonna add any Worcester sauce. Some might say Worcestershire. Very much in another direction than we're going with this. So if you were gonna make this dish and you weren't going to put a caviar supplement on it, you were just gonna serve it regular, you could throw in more ingredients in there like capers, you could throw Worcestershire sauce in there, you could throw some pickled peppers, spicy peppers, you could throw some onion in there, parsley in there, even some mint, lemon zest. You can add an egg yolk, that's another thing that's really popular, a quail egg or some microgreens around the top, some whole grain mustard and pickles and toast and, and whatever else. Also, you could add cooked egg as well, that's another thing. You could also cure an egg yolk, shave some of that on top. That's really good. Another idea for the idea bank. You could take this as a good base idea and if you're not gonna put caviar on it, you could add all these other things and it's gonna be really, really freaking delicious. So we got all of our mise en place. We have our pommes de frites, champagne vinegar, creme fraiche. We have our sturgeon caviar. We got our steak tartare. I hope you, if you're making this at home, you enjoy this dish. And also, if you just enjoyed watching this, thank you so much for joining me. I like to cook for y'all. Actually, I'm not from Texas. I don't know why I said that. I was born and raised in Seattle and I've lived in New York for the past 10 years. I don't know why I said y'all. So if you like, if you love food, you like watching me make food, please subscribe. 